Hi budding artists, welcome to iArt Studio. This is Aishwarya Bharat. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel for easy painting videos. Watch this video till the end to learn how to paint this Melbourne Market Street coffee using acrylics. Check the description box below the video for the list of materials. Ok now let's begin the sketch. Take a HP pencil and draw the outline. I have initially kept the sketch simple. You can take a screenshot of this and have this as your reference image. I have taken a half inch flat brush and start to paint the background ceiling of the building. I have used burnt umber, little black and white for this. For the walls, I am using brown and added little white to it. For the floors, I have used more of black mixed with little white. Remember to keep a paper below your canvas to save your place from looking messy. Once you're done with the base coat for these three elements, go for the second coat using the previous color combinations. For your information, we are now painting a market street in Melbourne, where I stopped by to grab an amazing coffee. This painting is one of my travel memories. And then when it is dry, go for the third coat. Now as the next step, I have switched to a quarter inch flat brush and taken dark green to paint the rails in the ceiling. There is a name board of that coffee shop hanging on the rails. It will start to look better once we give the second coat. Now I'm switching to a small round brush and creating thin lines on top of the wall. For the brick effect, I have used brown and drawn lines. It's time for the buildings in the background now. I'm using a quarter inch flat brush to paint the base. It's more of brown mixed with little white. The other buildings will be in white and blue. You can change the color as per your choice. And for the sky, it's a light blue. Now let's paint the coffee cup. I have used a quarter inch flat brush and white color for this application. For the lid, I have used black color. Let's work on the details of the building using a small round brush. I have taken brown and black for these details.
Also highlight the windows of the building using white. I have used white to paint the name board words in the distance. The city view is cool, right? Okay, now comes a hand holding this coffee cup. Outline this with any light color before moving into the middle. Adding a final touch to the sky, now painting the floor and the road. I'm using a half inch flat brush to bring the floor effect. With the quadrant flat brush, blend it with white. For the hand, I have mixed red, yellow, little blue and white to get this flesh tint color. Let it dry and in the meantime, we shall quickly paint the name board of this coffee shop. Now coming to the hand part again, we shall use a orangish tone this time. With a flat brush, I am highlighting it with brown. I am blending it with white wherever needed to bring the light and shadow effect. Slowly work on this and try to make it as real as possible. Let's paint the nails and the lines in the palm. Keep playing around until you get the desired effect. We have got some pillars supporting the ceiling rails. Let's paint them now. I'm using the same dark green to paint this using a small round brush.
Using the same round brush, I'm taking black to add little details to the pillar designs. For the ceiling, I have taken white to paint its roof design. Now I'm taking black and brown mixture to paint the string beam alley lights. Let's finish the wordings on the coffee cup. Highlight the coffee lid with white in the light side. Here is my favorite part, painting the tiny beam lights that gives life to this market street. Using a small round brush and taking white, I paint this. Later add yellow as the second coat. Add yellow to the rails and pillars as well since the reflection of the beam lights fall on them. The coffee cup and the hand holding it should also be highlighted with a mild yellow shade since they are two under the lights. Finally sign your painting and here is the perfect coffee cup with a street view using acrylics. Take a closer look to enjoy this beautiful cityscape piece. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to Ayat Studio for more videos. Catch you all with a fabulous video like this one soon. See ya!